everyone, I'm Grattles, and today in House Flipper, I just want to go over the new update. Uh, we got an update yesterday for the PS4 and the Xbox, and it's uh, 2.03, and it changes a lot of things in our menus. So I just wanted to go through each and every one of them and try to see what's different and see how we like it. I was having a little trouble finding things because I kind of got used to the old uh, menu. So when we bring up a menu, the first thing we see over here is doors. So now if we click on it, it shows us the one for, I think it's four tiles wide. And then it also gives us the wider doors in a separate category. So these are, I think six or eight wide so now if we go down to floor you could see rugs is no longer in floors we do have our floor panels and coverings which is the wood as well as the carpet and we have our floor tiles right here so if we go back we now go into installation. This is for assembly. It gives us our AC, our bathroom, our washer hookups, as well as our radiator. If we go to heating, this gives us the towel bar, the radiators, and the AC. And other is the light switches, doorbells, and outlets. So we can get out of here. The one thing I thought was a little weird with the installation is we have the radiator plumbing here and the AC installation here. And if you go into heating, we have AC and the heating. So AC is not exactly heating. I mean, certain units you could use to heat, but most of the time, if we're looking for ourselves for an air conditioning unit, it would not be in heating. The next we have is ladders and scaffolding. That's self-explanatory there. The next is tools. Now, these are non-functioning tools they could just be left around for, you know, decoration. So I really don't know why this has kind of its own category here. I think that's a little weird. Then we have walls. And we have our paint. I would have liked to see some new paint colors with the update, which I don't see any. They're pretty much the same. They are all the same. I don't see any new ones. It would be nice to see a couple of new ones with the update. Here we just have plaster. Here we have our wall panels. So we have the wood and the wallpaper. And down here we have wall tiles. So they're basically all the same as well. If we get out of here, we have windows. Now again, they put curtains and blinds together. I really wish they would have separated them into two categories. Uh, blinds for one and curtains for another. And they didn't, so that was kind of a lost opportunity. I kind of like them separate. So then in the next uh, thing over here, we have accessories. So we still have our bathroom accessories here, which is, you know, our towel racks and towels, normal stuff. I have some toothpaste. It would have been nice to see a few more items added to that with the update. This one I'm a little confused by. We have containers, which is fine, but they also put laundry baskets and bins in here as well and they do have the safe now I mean all these things do hold stuff per se but 
I don't know, bins would be, I think, better off in kitchen. Because most of the time, you do have your bins in the kitchen. The safe, I don't know, I think it's not exactly a container exactly. Here we have hobbies. So we have books, bicycles, the fish tank, but, um, a tire. I don't know why we have a tire there, but we have the acoustic paneling, which is really all it is. I think this should go in walls because this is just for walls, really. It's not on the floor. So I think that should have been placed in um, walls more than in accessories. Um, we do have our soccer table and our billiards table, guitars. I mean, I, I do like it in hobbies a little bit, but I don't know, books, I don't know if that's exactly, I think it should be separated a little bit in separate categories, even in hobby. Um, kids, I do have a gripe with this. Um, most of this stuff is for small babies, not teenagers. I would have liked to see some more accessories for like a teenager's room. Um, and some more baby stuff with babies kind of split up into maybe kids, babies, and teens and have more accessories for that. Here we have kitchen, pretty much basic, all the stuff we had in our kitchen stuff. Here we have our sauna. We kind of have all that stuff together. That's fine. Then we have specialized items. I've been confused with this. Um, in most of our houses, we do not make a pub or a club or anything like that. So I've had very little use for this stuff in general. So now let's go back. We're in bathroom fixtures. I do like the way they separated the bath and showers now. And the sinks and the toilets separate. It's much easier to find what you're looking for. Here we have beta rewards. Again, mm, I don't know if we need that. I really wouldn't put them in any of the houses. But that's besides the point. Here in... Sorry, decorations. We have clocks. Just our standard clocks. Over here, fireplaces. One thing huge I see now is we have the word wood burning, burning fireplace in here. A lot of times when I would search up fireplaces, I would only get the three fireplaces and I wouldn't get the wood burning furnace. And that I think should have been at least listed with fireplaces when you're looking for them. So I'm glad they're all together now. Here we have floor. So we do have our rugs now in decorations and floor. So it's okay, but I got used to it being in the floor category. So it's going to be a little bit different to navigate in here. Here we have mirrors. Pretty standard. Here we have pictures and paintings. Now, my one gripe with this is paintings can be... I, I take paintings to be on the larger end. So, if you have a painting like, say, this, and you put it on large, that's the large painting of that. Now, when I go back and I go to photos, now this is in the photo. And when I want a large one of this, I get this. What I would have liked to seen is with the photos and the paintings, I would have liked if they wanted to keep it as paintings and photos, that's fine. 
what I would have liked to see is a subcategory with smaller and larger because with paintings I, I tend to believe that the paintings would be a lot larger when you click the large button and they are large don't get me wrong but the discrepancies between the small and large when you're going to find a painting and a photo is huge like some of these paintings are quite large so if I pick this for example and I pick large on here it is tremendous so I would have liked to seen a little bit more of a subcategory for the much larger photos and paintings and much smaller photos and paintings so now when we come to plants we do have that option which is nice because a lot of times when I would uh, look for a plant and this is rather large um, I would get the small ones and the large ones mixed up so now if I am looking for one maybe to just go on a table I can pick out a little bit better and it's separated a little bit more if I'm looking for a floor plan I'm gonna go for the large so that that's well done then we have standing decorations now we have cups these are trophies that's all they are nothing great we have the folding screens here sculptures we only have one this has its own category and it's literally just one sculpture so it would be nice to see a few more of those vases that's fine so let's go back out of that and that so we finished all decorations electronic equipment so now we got the bathroom so we have our washer our dryer then we have entertainment here we have like the pinball machine, some monitors, TVs, all this pretty much now in this category. We even have a fan in here. Now I don't think a fan is entertainment, but I guess that's where they put it. Now for me, the fan should not be in here. You know, this is more entertainment and I don't find that a fan is entertainment so that's beside the point I would have had a hard time finding the fan if I didn't just find it now kitchen we have some new options actually in our kitchen now in this kitchen it's just the electronic stuff but we do have a ceiling fan in our kitchen now you can use the ceiling fan in other rooms beside a kitchen so I don't know why this is in electronical uh, electronic equipment for the kitchen. So that's just a little bit of a sore thing. Next we have furniture. So now we have the bathroom. These are just kind of wall hangings and different things for the kitchen. I mean bathroom. Which they're okay but I really don't I really wouldn't use most of this stuff in the bathroom um, maybe a few things but overall it's just cupboards and shelves so next we have the bedroom so we got uh, some beds we got some tables so let's go over to the beds. I see, I think we have some new uh, beds in this category. Either that or they're just popping up because they were in occasional and I didn't notice them. Um, here we have bedside cabinets. So those are nice to find now as a nightstand. We have dressing tables. I don't 
sure if I would call this a dressing table. This, I believe, would be with the nightstands. Uh, let's just take a look at it. <clears throat> yeah, this would not go into the category it's in. That should be definitely in the bedside cabinets. So I don't know why that is there. This is a footrest. These are, you know, vanities and stuff like that. But this mini chest of drawers should definitely be in bedside cabinets. Wardrobes. This is fine. It's another, you know, dressers, wardrobes. Um, that I think should be split up a little bit. Wardrobes I see as more of these large wardrobes whereas these I see as a chest of drawers so I think they could have their own subcategory and it would be you know like dressers and wardrobes so let's get back out of here and we'll go down to corridor so now this would go into your where you first walk into your house I mean, it's pretty nice to have the coat hangers and stuff like that. So it's pretty self-explanatory there. Um, this always confuses me a lot too. We have a lot of bar chairs, but I, we really don't have a lot of bars and a lot of like nooks and stuff to use the bar stools. Um, especially with our cabinets in our kitchen so it would be nice to see a little bit more of that here we have chairs so these are just standard dining room chairs and here we have tables if I can click it there we go <coughs> so here we just have some dining room tables I'm really glad they split up the dining room tables from the coffee tables they were really kind of mismoshed into each other and whenever I would look for a coffee table it would be a dining room table and vice versa so that's nice that they kind of split that up here we have kids uh, kids we have wardrobes and cabinets this is nice separated um, they do put the baby's stuff, like the changing tables and stuff, in the wardrobes and stuff. So if you're looking for strictly just baby stuff, I think they could have had like a baby category in some of this stuff. Same with beds. We have the bunk beds and the cribs all together. Um, so I really think this would have been nice to separate it again into a baby's category because this way you would have all your baby stuff for making a baby's room without having to go through all the other things. So here we have chairs. This is more kid small chairs. We have the shelves. Um, these can be used in more than just kids rooms. Some of these things so yeah, a little bit of a gripe there. And here we have just smaller kids' tables. So let's get back out of here. We'll go to our kitchen. Here we have a lot of stuff stuffed into one space. Um, I think they could have done this with subcategories as well. I think they could have done hanging cabinets separated from the floor cabinets here. They have some nice new ovens here. Um, I think, like, again, they could have subcategoried this into sinks, ovens, and then they also have, like, a dishwasher now, which is great. Um, corner units, single units, slimmer units, wider. Um, I think this should be all subcategoried. You know, this is more than, you know, it's all pushed together into one category. 
So I think like this is already a pre-made kitchen. I think that should have been in its own, you know, its own category. So I think this could be split up quite a bit more than what it is. So that's my biggest gripe with the kitchen. Living room. See, now they do a good job at subcategorying here. We have the armchairs. We got some cabinets. So this is nice. We have shelves in here as well. This could have been broken down quite a bit more. Um, because we have this steel garage shelf in cabinets for the living room. Now, that doesn't belong there. So, that I don't know why it's in living room furniture when it's a garage piece. You would not put this in your living room. Um, and then I think just overall, this could be broken down into TV units, shelves. There's just so much pushed into this one thing this is a wall sign it could be a shelf um, but then you got this which is I don't know it just doesn't it's not the same as a shelf and it's not the same as the storage unit for the garage so I think that needs to be fixed up a little bit sofas they're fine you get your sectionals, uh, your two-seaters. Again, I think they could have broken this into a little bit more of a subcategory, but I'm fine with it. And then we have tables. So you got your coffee tables. And here's where I think they could have used in the tables. Um, maybe even put the TV cabinets in here. And then subcategoried it to side tables, coffee tables, and TV tables. But, you know, it's all smashed together. Um, let's go back. And lastly, we have office. Office, again, is no subcategories. We have chairs in here with file cabinets, as well as desks, and a whiteboard. Again, when you're looking for these items, I'd be looking in chairs, for desk chairs, and not in office. So, I would think that, again, this should be subcategoried into desks, chairs, you know, a whiteboard or accessories, you know, just stuff like that, file cabinets. Alright, so that's, that's my main gripe with the office stuff, too. I think it should be separated. So let's go ahead and go back and now we have lights so we have our ceiling lights um, yeah pretty much I mean this is good well categorized and we have our sanding lights um, and then we have our wall lights down here and so that seems to be okay and that's pretty similar to the old one here we have occasional, so we have Christmas stuff, as well as Halloween, and we have Valentine's Day. That's okay. And the last category we have is trophies. So I mean, this is silly. We have a trophies cupboard in trophies. Now. I don't know if that is, I don't know, if you're going to put trophies there, why not put the beta rewards in that? I mean, it's got its own category. I don't think it needs it. I think it should just be in trophies. And they could have put... I think um, the other one, where is it? I think the dad's trophy and stuff like that. That all could have gone into the trophies cupboard here. So I do have some gripes with the overall setup of the menu. And finding stuff, I'm going to be doing a lot of searching. And yeah, 
uh, tell me what you think in the comments. Um, how you liked it or dislike some of the things and some of the points I made. So, overall, I, I think there's a lot of missed opportunities. I think with the update, we could have gotten some more paint colors. That would have been nice. Maybe a couple of more tiles and floorboards. Um, another thing I would love to do is be able to put more stuff on the outer of the house, like some lights or stuff like that. Maybe in Garden Flipper, we will get that. So this update was to prepare us for the new DLC that's coming out, which is Garden Flipper. I'm um, not sure of the date just yet. And um, just, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, leave some comments below and uh, tell me what you like and dislike and, you know, the points I made with the categories and stuff. And uh, uh, if you like my content and would like to see more, please click the like button and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.